Hey, what's up everybody? It's Franco here, and I'm back with another Clash of Clans video today. And today, uh, we did actually get our fastest perfect war ever. So, uh, if we look at the war events here, we can kind of see when the last star was actually given out. So, I think, so we got all three stars. We only missed three attacks. So, you saw that one, two... Uh, it's hard to tell with the arrows, but the arrows go in the one way or the, what we're looking for. Three attacks, and then I finished off the war here with my main account on the number 28, number 29, and number 30. And then that was all the re that was all the starts of the rest of the war. Um, you can see they're all grayed out so that we got all the max stars. So when that happened, there was, let's see, I, I, I wrote it down, but... So, 16 hours and 44 minutes ago, and we're at 3 hours 44 minutes. So, the math checks out there, and I like pinning this message here. So, we got our fastest perfect war in 20 hours and 30 minutes remaining. So, all this would not have been possible without the hard hitters on our in our clan here that can just carry so hard. And I actually didn't see that someone re-three-starred the number one base. But, I guess we'll watch this Dehirge guy go in here with... Looks like just Root Riders and Druids, so that's a little bit surprising. And the reason why this video is a little bit weird is because um, we just had those nerfs come in. So we had the nerfs to the Valkyries, the Overgrowth, basically most of the driving force to these Root Rider attacks, and we still tripled in our best manner yet. So there's a couple factors for this, and the main one is we haven't done a 30v30 war in a very long time. Um, and we've been just doing 40s, 45s, which are a lot of people, and a lot of times it's like new people that we don't know in the clan, like, um, especially with the addition of the new clan notice board, which I'll get into in a minute, but, uh, this war, we struggled last war to get the perfect war. We really had to claw together those last couple attacks, and even with my second accounts and everything, we still struggled, but I had four extra attacks. Um, so this war we decided let's not put in all those new people and just keep in the OG people and see what happens and this is what happens. We get the fastest war time ever um, and we can see this guy going in Root Riders here so it's a little risky. He's going right into the town hall. I guess he didn't want to risk one starring maybe or maybe it was a good overgrowth placement there. It's funny how seeing the overgrowth go a little bit smaller on the map um, and it's I actually kind of like it. like. I used it on uh, on my wall breaker account sometimes, and um, the the small radius of the spell almost feels like you have more control and more precision with it. When that when you had that large radius, it was kind of kind of hard to tell like what was in it. If only they had a little thing that you could like drag around the screen and see how big the radius is, just to make sure you know what's getting hit with it. But let me know how you guys feel about that. I mean, it's not that big of a change, but I actually kind of like the change, which is a little bit weird. Like, I guess it was overpowered for how big the overgrowth spell was, but I figure watch... Oh, actually, there's a live replay. Let's, let's watch this live one and live commentate their oh, attack on our number one guy. So it looks like they got the king trying to wipe out this compartment, and they are still going with these Root Riders and Druids. But uh, like I was saying, we had those nerfs, to the Valkyries, um, which you think would make the war harder for us, but that just shows the skill of our clan, and obviously it just showed a Root Rider Valkyrie attack, but I think that is of the minority in our clan. Most people are using Super Bowlers, Super Witches, Dragons, um, I think most people that were using Root Riders um, kind of stopped because of how much it was failing. So to see them still, it's, it, it actually is like refreshing to see a Root Rider Valkyrie attack, considering um, how much they've been overused for the past nine months. Um, I actually kind of enjoy it because it's like, wow, it actually takes some skill or a lot of luck. And I think, um, hey, I think a lot of people are getting lucky based off the ones that I showed, but a lot more people are getting unlucky versus, uh, because of how not extremely strong this uh, army composition is anymore. But um, I was talking about the uh, why we had our fastest war ever during this war, and like I said, it ultimately comes down to that we just had less people in war, less variables, because um, when, we, when you run with more random people, more new people in the clan, uh, a lot of them don't attack, a lot of them are really bad, and it just happens like that, and then you end up um, not having as many efficient attacks. But I know the one guy in our clan, the Alex guy, uh, which I can show one of his replays. I'm not really sure what attack strategy he does. Um, he went perfect 
Um, so you have two attacks each. He went... He has three accounts. Wait, my brain is farting. Because he's had a massive number of stars. Yeah, so it'd be six each. So he said 18 Star War, which is um, super impressive, I'm not going to lie. But this is actually a pretty cool attack. It looks like he had four overgrowths or three overgrowths. I wasn't really counting. But, um, yeah, I guess just... Just use more overgrowths now. I guess that's the whole key here. Um, but, yeah, another Root Rider Valkyrie attack for a three-star here. I, I know I said it's refreshing to see it, but at the same time, I, I still don't like that it can still work. But uh, let's go watch this Ted guy. I think he's been using Super Bowlers. Yeah, it's just pretty interesting to see. Um, but our previous Perfect War record, I think, was 17 hours, 34 minutes or something like that. Um, I don't know how I have that very specific number memorized. But um, this guy likes to go in with Fireball, which is a pretty cool attack, and he just showed a replay of people are just starting to bait the Fireball, because I think it's one of the more dominant strategies that High Legends League, um, and I think this guy finished, or not finished, was number three in the world at some point, but he's, he's very talented, I mean, what, what can I say? Um, but we have such good hitters on this in this clan, and um, it really just makes regular war almost too easy before these balance changes but now because of these balance changes I'm actually pretty excited because we see this enemy clan um, I'll go back to the menu after this attack here is done but um, the enemy clan was kind of struggling they're at about like I don't know they're at, they're a 60 ish star so they have like a third of the, the war still to go and there's about five hours um, there's about five hours left in the war so what happened was we actually perfect ward, because I showed the little scan of the war log there for a minute. We perfect ward when I think they had about like nine stars in. So it kind of goes back to that strategy that I was saying. If we perfect war very quick, they're going to get intimidated and give up. And I was like, whoa, this clan might actually give up because um, they actually are on a war streak of 15. So a 15 war streak is nothing I think ours is 15 so 15 war streak is not something to shake a stick at it is pretty impressive to be honest um and I thought we were just gonna dominate them right from the beginning but it looks like they're trying to make a subtle comeback near the end honestly clan morale might be extremely low based off the start of this war so I wouldn't be surprised if they gave up I'm interested to see how this ends and I know I can't really um <laughs> show you how it ends without ending the video here so maybe next video i'll give a quick update to how this war goes but yeah if we take a look at this enemy team here they have a war win streak of 15 i think we're only on a war streak of 15 so either this is going to be another perfect war tie or we're finally going to get a win against a really good clan because of this new meta and um I'm so excited, like I was saying, for regular Clan Wars to see what happens there. We'll watch one re oh, not this guy again. Um, <laughs> we'll watch one replay from that Alex guy who claims to have one, two, th uh, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so he had six three stars. We'll watch his highest attack there, um, which was this one, um, which really helped us out. And obviously, against Max Town Hall 16, we're all almost Max Town Hall 16s. But, um,. Hopefully we can advance this war streak, because I'll take a peek at the Warlock. It's a lot of ties, and it almost makes it not as competitive clan war, because like you, there's not too much more to do. Like All it is is just tie, and I know a lot of people are getting frustrated because we're not getting the ores we deserve when we're getting these perfect wars. Um, but hopefully with more, with harder offense, it actually benefits us, because I'm confident in our skill. And I'm confident that other clans are not as skilled. So just widening the skill gap between um, clans and players, I think, would benefit us a lot. It would also benefit some of the top people. And the people that it will hurt are obviously the less skilled clans that just spam and everything, which I know I don't like because it's not fair to people that are actually skilled. But at the same time... Um, it, it's fun for casuals to be very overpowered, and hey, you've had your time for nine months. Let's let's hopefully get a more balanced game. Um, let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section. And he goes, and let's watch the end of the S. Oh my God, the end of this replay here. So another super witch army, and just these balance changes in general are so nice because. I just remember back about five months ago, you would never see any of these attack strategies. You would never. If you saw a Super Witch Army, you'd be like, what are they doing? That is crazy. Why are they risking the war and everything? It was just Root Rider, Root Rider, Root Rider. And I figure I'll show off my profile one last time here. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Maybe maybe they're getting another three-star. Ah, they're attacking low. Um, 
But I thought I'd show this profile. I still do not have Root Riders unlocked, and I don't ever plan on unlocking them until they come out with a new troop that hopefully isn't as busted, and we'll see what happens. But here's our Warlog, um, and... Yeah, like I said, there's a bunch of ties, but hopefully these wins start racking up. Um, yeah, but thank you guys for watching. And if you're interested in seeing how our previous war streak ended, click on the video on the screen, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.